What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got another Foot Champ highlights video and this is the team we ended up playing Foot Champs with. We went for a little bit of a, a fun team, let's say. We've got still obviously the sweaty players like Mbappe, Kempembe, Donnarumma, Furlan Mendy. But we've obviously got some new players like Kiesa. But we've also got Mura in here, Nakamura, Amavi and we have got Tonali as well. I'm not worried at all about the defensive line. The defensive line looks completely solid, right? And I know what a lot of people are going to say. Uh, did you switch Hernandez and Furlan Mendy in-game? I didn't. I understand it makes sense to do that. But the reason I didn't is simply because I've always played Furlan Mendy in that left-back position. Literally always have done it. So I don't want to switch that up. I know he's an absolute beast in that left-back position. I don't even want to try him in that right-back position. But look at this from Amavi. We're starting off like that, Amavi. Okay, all right. I see you, I see you. That is a beauty, beauty of a shot. But yeah, Furlan Mendy, he stayed in the left-back position. I just trusted Hernandez on that three-star weak foot. It is where it is. He did actually play insanely, insanely good there as well. Now, I'm going to guess you guys are trying to figure out what kind of formation I'm playing because you see Amavi in that left-wing position, right? And I can tell you guys right now, it's not a five at the back, okay? It, it's not a five at the back, all right? It's a four, two, three, one. Uh, the four defenders is the defenders you saw. And then there's on the, in the right back position. Then you got Chiellini, Kempembe and Furlan Mendy. In the CDM positions, we had Amavi and uh, Tonali. Little bit weird, I know, playing Amavi in a CDM position. But that's something I do time to time, right? I, I just sit there and go, you know what? Let's play someone completely out of position and see how it goes. I played Ripper in a left back position. He was good. He was actually really good. It's just... Yeah, it's a little bit weird to do so, right? So I just decided, why not? Let's play him in a left uh, let's play him, sorry, in a CDM position, see how he is there. He's his tackles were good, by the way. Like really, really good. And the thing that was really nice about him in that CDM position is the fact that he was getting out to players insanely, insanely quick. Like he wasn't one of those players that you had to like sit back with. He wasn't like a holding CDM. No, you can in you can just straight up rush with this guy into people's personal space and you can get the ball so high up on the pitch. So yeah, that is something I really did enjoy about, enjoy about Marvi. The something I didn't enjoy though was the interceptions. The ball just didn't want to go to him. Like, it would he would rather stick up his leg or when he actually got the ball, it would just bounce. It would just go, okay, collect the ball. No, it would just go straight back to the opponent. It was the most annoying thing. It happened throughout the whole of the weekend. But the thing is, right, with this Amavi card, because of his, how good his transition speed was and how good he was getting out of players, I did enjoy it. I honestly did. And that goal is very questionable, right? Very, very questionable. I don't know how that went in. I thought the defender was easily going to clear that off the line. But look at Mura. Look at him finishing his dinner. And if you guys, by the way, are wondering how I'm uh, setting up the attack, Nakamura, cam position, Mura in the land position, Mbappe striker, we all know Mbappe is going to go striker, and then we got Kiesa in the ram position as well. And we was 2-0 up in this game, and then all of a sudden, we're starting to get starting to get a little bit nervous, starting to get a little bit, you know, shaky, let's say. Like, oh, come on, man. That, that is such like a rigged animation from Chiellini there. Like, it's not even Chiellini's fault, it honestly isn't. Like, that's just EA being EA. But then look at Mura. Shot cancelling keep, keepers, Mura. Is that what you're doing? Is that how you're rolling around nowadays? Okay, I see you. That was an easy finish as well. Look at Nakamura, by the way. I could have uh, chipped the keeper there, but just keep it calm. Just get, you know, just be composed. Ball roll, step back, just pass it to your boy Mbappe, and he's always going to finish his dinner. Going up against this team next is a solid team, isn't it? You see Mbappe, you see Neymar. You see a silver star, which is a little bit questionable, but hey, you got the other two players, so I'm kind of scared. This guy, he pauses the game before I even scored a goal. I'm like, what, what, what's happening here? You can clearly tell that guy was not having a good weekend. When you're pausing the game before your opponent even scores the goal, uh, that's questionable, man. That is definitely, definitely questionable. But look at Nakamura's acceleration here. Ah, uh, this, and I enjoyed this Nakamura card so much, man. I told you guys in a review, right? I did tell you guys, the guy is not a joke. He is a serious, serious card. Like the acceleration, aka the pace you get off him, it is something you don't see on a lot of players. You genuinely don't. Like, how quick he is, is a joke. It genuinely is a joke. Now, I did a uh, an offside trap in the worst occasion you could ever do an offside trap in. So, you know, 
it happens. It, time to time, it happens. So it is what it is. Look at Nakamura with his three-star weak foot. That is something you can definitely tell, by the way. But then look at Kiesa. I'm going to be honest. It was a fake shot, but we'll take it the goal. We'll definitely take the goal. All right. Amavi to Mura, waiting for the perfect moment to bring Nakamura into the play here. Look at the way he's moving the keeper. You're literally moving the keeper, not even guarding the goal anymore. He was guarding the corner flag or something. Like, I've never seen that bad of keeper movement. I actually haven't. So, we'll take the free goal. This guy quit the game as well. We got Mbappe. Look at Mbappe's pace, man. Beautiful ball roll to a scoop to Mura missing that opportunity. But look who's there. Look who is there to sweep up Nakamura. Like, I'm telling you guys, the movement as well from him was incredible. Like, look at that movement down there. He's trying to find... Oh, I actually hit the mic by accident. Sorry about that. It was called Nakamura is trying to find these open spaces. He isn't one of those, like, cams that sits back, you know? He, he wants to run forward. He wants to be the person that scores those goals. Now, obviously, that guy ended up rage quitting, so he ended up playing this guy. And uh, I, I cannot believe the amount of red Vinicius uh, like cards I've seen, you know? The, the 85s as well. We're not even talking about the 83s here. We're talking about the 85s. But look at that turn from Mura. Spinning that player inside out. Green time, power shot, top bins. Nakamura, him obviously, you know, having a finesse shot trait. I tried it. We didn't get it to go. Mbappe taking a weird touch, but at the same time, a good touch. And look at that run. That's the run I don't get a lot, a lot for my cam. I don't. Like... It's the run I really, really want. The fact that Nakamura saw that I can just go for an A pass, a simple A pass there, is beautiful. Honestly, beautiful. But this guy gave me the free W. Now, what you guys didn't see before this, by the way, is uh, the guy before this just left at 0 0. Like, it takes two seconds to give away a free dub. It honestly does. Two seconds to give away a free dub, man. And. The people that leave at 0-0, zero, zero, it hurts. It hurts my soul. It honestly does because it's so quick to give away a free dub. And the fact that you, you just can't do it, taking two seconds of your life is, is annoying. It honestly is. But then we hit the post post there, right? And I'm telling you guys, I remember this. Uh, I remember this game. We was getting hard rigged. I don't cover Gelson there perfectly. And this guy goes for a first time chip. I, I honestly remember hitting the post like four times before this. Like... There's, there's some of those games, right? There's some of those games where you just have to question it completely. But then look who is turning up. I must admit, Kiesa, he was one of those players that didn't get involved in the play an outrageous amount. Because I was always trying to get Mura involved with Nakamura involved, you know? So I didn't get him an outrageous amount of goals this week. But the thing is, he, w he was always turning up in the games I needed him to turn up in. Like the shooting ability was there, man. It honestly was. I think actually I hit the post post with Kiesa, but... You get the point, right? You get the point. Like, he was always that kind of person to make the right movement in the right position. Like, that is something I really was enjoying about him, playing in that Ram position. And look at this, man. Look how he feels on the ball. Little, little, you know, little skill moves. Just see what I can possibly do. Turning inside out. And look at that, man. Like, that, that's what he can do. That is honestly what he can do. You can take your time. You don't need to pull out the, an outrageous amount of skill moves because he hasn't got five star, right? You can take your time. You can just create yourself the angle. Go for that green timed and look at that for football. We're playing tick attack out here, you know? Like, we've only... You have to keep in mind, we've only got one five star skiller. So we're passing. We're playing passing plays here. And I try to bang it. Absolutely bang it with Mura. We didn't get it to go. It was a smart pass back from Kiesa. It's just... We still didn't get it, but we got the rebound. So we'll take the goal and we'll take that 3-0. Tonali playing that ball in behind. This Tonali card, by the way. Oh my God. My deep line playmaker is what I call him. Like, over top through balls, through balls on the ground. Perfect. Literally perfect. If Mbappe, Mura, Chiesa, uh, Nakamura is making a run in behind, I'm finding him. I am definitely, definitely finding him. But look at that. Eto. I, I, honestly, I, I despise playing Eto. I genuinely do. Eto is like, he's one of those players that uh, he's just like, what is this, man? On, honestly, just what is this? He is so fast. So, so fast. And he gets away with so much cheese as well. Like, he's so hard to tackle. But we do get one back. Mbappe on the ball here. As you can, can tell, this was a hard opponent. 55th minute now. We're 1 0. But we're taking our time. This guy completely reads it wrong. And look who is there. How smart it is from Kiesa to go from the Ram position, move himself into the striker position to give me that passing option is incredible. But this guy shoots a Pele straight off kickoff down the middle. Donnarumma doesn't save it. 
Kickoff, honestly, is one of the worst things I've ever seen in FIFA 22. It genuinely is. But look how well we are doing to create these goals, creating these angles. We make it 3 2. At that point, I thought he was going to rage quit. He doesn't. He paused the game. The goal constant pressure. Guess who is through on goal? Calm, compose as you want it. And obviously, you know, hmm, the easy shot, the easy shot. So, yeah, we won that game. Into the next one, we see a red Messi. A Blanc. A, a Sule, by the way. I think that's actually how you pronounce it. A lot of people was questioning how I pronounce uh, Shul. But it's apparently Sule. Hey, listen, I, I didn't know how to pronounce it. I'm going to be honest. I literally had no idea. So I just gave it my best shot. And Shul was my best shot. So yeah, apparently it's called Sule. So I'll remember that in the future. But look at that. Nakamura. Uh, relax. That's a three-star week foot. You shouldn't be shooting those... Uh, Shooting those shots, let's say. And you shouldn't be scoring it as well, but we'll take it. An RBA over to Mura. Look at that for a finish. I'm telling you guys, Mura's finishing ability, it was there. Something I really was enjoying about him is the fact that, yes, he isn't the most agile of players. Yes, he hasn't got the skill moves, but you give this guy a shooting opportunity and he is going to put it into the back of the net. We ended up winning 4-0 against that guy. And this is the team we play next. Sweaty teams, right? Very sweaty teams. Messi, Neymar. We got some serious, serious players in it. And as you clearly can see, we're struggling. These aren't easy games. We was playing some serious, serious players, right? 31st minute now. Tonali. Out of all people, Tonali. But this is the thing, right? You have to play games with your opponent. The thing is, that's Tonali we're talking about. So what do you think Tonali's going to do? Do you think he's going to act like an Mbappe? run down the line do you think he's gonna act like a mural let's say running down the line no you're probably not right you're probably gonna think okay because it's tonali he's gonna go for that cutback but that's when you play mind games with your with your opponent you sit there and go down the line completely confuse him and that's when we get we actually get the goal but look at this son i'm telling you guys this son is a joke it honestly is like it's it's embarrassing how good his shooting ability is. I can't believe it. Like, left foot, right foot, it just flies in. But look who's here. Chiesa. I'm telling you guys, he didn't get involved in the play in every single game. But he turned up when I needed him to turn up. Look at that for a finish. Under pressure, tight angle, somehow flies into the back of the net. And then we go into the next game with this team. One person I hate playing, which we don't play very often, is the Felix card. I've got him on my other account and I know what he can do. I know how effective he is with his shooting ability. We go 1-0 up. Ferland Mendy hitting with that high press, by the way. Uh, I'm not sure why Ferland Mendy's on the other side. I just realized, but we will take it. Yeah, I see an RBA opportunity. This guy scores an own goal. As soon as I saw him switch at Diego Carlos there, I knew he overcommitted slightly. So that's why I went for the RBA. It was rather me scoring it. Or him scoring an own goal. I don't think there was no in-between there. But Neymar on the ball. Passes it to Felix. Guess what Felix is going to do. The guy even made it worse for himself. Alright. He made it worse for himself when he went for that ball roll. And somehow still he ended up getting a goal. Mbappe though. Seeing if I can just give it to your boy Nakamura. He's in the right position every single time. So you best believe we're going to give him the ball. Gilson Martin skips us inside out. Joao Felix through on goal. Decent. But then look at that. It's not like you can even give this guy a side. He's going to do that with both feet as well. And it's not like he's got a five-star weak foot. It's just his four-star weak foot is a joke. And this guy, look. Oh, what is this Felix card? Honestly, and the fact that this Felix card can get upgraded. Oh, yeah, I'm waiting for him. I am definitely, definitely waiting for him. Because I picked him up early. I picked him up for an okay price. And, uh, yeah. He, he, he better be, I mean, he's got tier right now, so he better be even better with that plus five to his pace. But yeah, we had to bring on some super subs there. Uh, your boy Nerez, he clutched, clutched it up for us and we ended up winning that game. This is a an outrageous team, isn't it? Janola. I think I saw Pele in there as well. Like, what am I seeing? But we go 1-0 up very early off. Once again, Kiesa turning up in the games. I need him to turn up. We go for this uh, dirty tactic, let's call it. Nakamura. Oh my god, look at this. Look at Nakamura. Look at it, man. Oh, come on. Come on, man. On a three-star weak foot. It's a joke. He is honestly a joke, right? And then Mbappe's making that run, but then I see Nakamura. Oh man, I, I enjoy I enjoy him too much. You know what I mean? I enjoy him too much. But look at Nakamura through on goal. See what I can do. Can he get his can he get his hat trick in the last game against someone that's got Janola? Someone that's got, I think it was a Pele as well. 
Yes, we can. Can we get the rage quit? Yes, we can. 4 0 rage quit, just like that. 16 0 with your boy Nakamura, with your boy, with your boy Mura as well. In the Mura, obviously in the land position, Nakamura in the cam position. But yeah, a solid 16 and 0. So if you guys are wondering about Foot Chain Rewards, they are actually out already. So if you guys want to go ahead and watch it, link will be in the description. Trust me, you want to watch it. We packed a 1 mil plus icon. It, it was seen for the first time, the base icon has actually gave out. So yeah, if you guys want to see it, link will be in the description. But that is going to be it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace. Thank you.